It's day three on my food adventure here in Japan. Lots of incredible food coming to you. The best katsudon ever, a Michelin star sushi makase, a night out in Golden Guy, and fish sperm. This is the best of the best. Let me tell you why. Hey guys, Jeremy Jacobo, it's here. Uh, it's day three on my journey in Tokyo looking for the absolute best food. I hope you've seen all my food adventures here in Japan so far, in Korea, and I hope you'll subscribe because I'm still gonna go to Osaka also. And what I'm doing is I'm here finding the best of the best and lots of amazing food is on the way, but if you've seen me every morning, you know that I have to eat one particular thing. That is an egg salad sanzo. So we did 7-Eleven first, we did Lost in second, and now we're trying Family Mart, the trifecta of convenience stores, Egg Salad Santos, and they are the absolute best, and I've been eating multiple of them every single day. So that's what I miss the most about Japan, is Egg Salad Santos, surprisingly enough, but check out how this one is. Mmm, I can go do a little work, and I'll see you guys what I mean more food. All right, so we're walking over to the restaurant. It's brutally hot. Brutal. It's a good, it's a good 90 degrees, and it's strong. You feel it, but it's like it's like humid, I guess. But the sun is very, very, very strong. And Jeremy refuses to wear sunscreen. No, I mean I want a little tan. I mean, you know, do do you? But I don't get the sun ever. So if I get a little tiny sun, I mean, you, you've said that to me every single day you've been here, and I'm still white as shit. Yeah. So a little sun is nice, and. Hopefully there's no wait, because I don't know if I want to wait. Well, we got there right when they opened, and there was already a line. So we are at Zuko Katsudan Shibuya. Uh, Zuko has one dish and one dish only, and that's how you know it's going to be good. Your only option is small, medium, or large, which is the amount of rice you'll get. It does come with a miso soup, but that's just wet the palate. And then the reason why people wait this long, they're katsudon. It's a deep fried pork cutlet over white rice, super creamy eggs, and their insane sauce. This sauce was the secret to everything. It's savory and a little sweet, and they dip the cutlet straight into it for serving so that the katsu remains as crispy as possible. It's just the perfect bite of textures and flavors and uh, the best ever. Super crispy, a little sweet, great textures going on, really tender. The sauce is lovely, great. Mm. Awesome. Mm. So in and out was 90 minutes, which isn't terrible. I mean, if you're gonna go to any restaurant, maybe not an hour and a half, but it's not bad. I mean, the only bad part was standing in the sun for an hour plus. I stood in the sun for an hour plus. You had a nice I, I, little I, jaunt in the mall. Oh, I didn't. I stood in the sun for maybe three minutes. <laughs> but for you. Um, but worth it. It was delicious. Their systems are great. They hand you the food. Get out of there. The beer felt great. It was actually, it was very, very, very and delicious. My belly feels, my belly feels fucking great also. Yeah, so. it and was now, very, very yummy. We're going from one hot activity to another hot activity because... Yeah, say, oh, I want to go get, do a tea ceremony. And I would say if you come here, just don't do it when it's 90 degrees and blazing sun. That's probably... At least it's not humid. It can be very humid here. Yeah. But, I mean, it's mid-May. I didn't think it'd be 90 degrees. No, no, no. If you come and it's like a normal temperature day, worth it. I, yeah, it's just very hot. And it's I hot see. in there. We sat far from the AC. It's a little hot in there. It's a little hot in there. But okay, off, off for tea. Which park are we in? The Shinjuku National Park? Very beautiful. A little, little. It's very pretty. A little Central Park vibes, just in terms of like the vibes itself. Excuse me. Nothing's better in Central Park. But we got a little snacky snack. Got a little matcha shaved ice because cool off before tea. Because it's the sun is still raining down on us. Okay, so after all of that, we never even found any tea in the park. <laughs> oh well. Takumi Sushi Iwana has one Michelin star and was definitely my splurge for the trip, coming in at 60,500 yen, 
or about $433 for two of us. They are known for their ever-changing menu using only the freshest of in-season ingredients. It was a little hard to remember exactly what each bite was. I was probably confused while eating them, to be honest. But here are some of the best and most memorable of the meal. And to finish, definitely the most memorable, fish sperm. Hey, if we're gonna eat the fish row, I think it's only fair we eat this too. It was actually pretty good. Oh, <laughs> After dinner, it was time for a night out in Tokyo, and we went to check out Golden Guy, uh, which is right next to us in Shinjuku. It is an area filled with all these really fun, super tiny bars all stacked on top of each other. In just six alleyways, there are over 200 places to drink at. It's the best place to bar hop, drink, meet all kinds of interesting people, and just have a blast. Nice guy. <laughs> Maybe, hopefully. <laughs> oh my god. Man, that's what I got for trying to fucking film this whole scene. So, what looked best to you? Let me know in the comments below. And make sure you sub because there are a ton more Japan videos coming. And here are a few of those I think you'd love.